All right, so we are back from waiting. And just as a little recap, we're waiting for the temperature to go to 30 degrees Celsius. Um, and that's when the reflow process is considered to be complete. Um, I could probably change that 30 degrees Celsius to like 40 degrees Celsius since 100 degrees Fahrenheit or something is really not that hot to your hand. Um, so right now it's still it's still cooling with the door open and the thermocouple on that tray. And, and that, that little disturbance or that little notch in that graph there is obviously from the time I opened the door and the thermocouple uh, left uh, contact with the plate. So it's getting close. Uh, when it does get to 30, then the buzzer will play a little melody and the red LED will turn off. I should also note that I used the drip tray for the toaster oven rather than using the metal grill with the um, cooking pan that it came for, came with, because uh, those add significant thermal mass and especially because the tray had a lot of notches and bumps in it, so it wasn't ideal at all. All right, so the temperature is getting very close to 30. And uh, let's get a view of the reflow doing as well. So dinner's ready. And that's it. Red LEDs off.